everyone thank you so much for joining uh, we are talking about the things that god wants us to be zealous about the things that he wants us to be enthusiastic about uh, we talked about prayer and today we are going to talk about unity pursuing unity um, keeping the unity in in the body of christ uh, let's look at the scripture from ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3 Uh, I'm reading from the amplified version it says make every effort to keep the oneness of the spirit in the bond of peace so make every effort to keep the oneness of the spirit in the bond of peace so uh, when we look at this in other versions you know um, there are words like endeavor uh, that are used where Paul is urging the believers to do their best or to be very very earnest in maintaining unity uh very earnest in being peaceful or maintaining the peace among believers um the reason why uh we are asked to be united is because there is a power uh, in unity we know that the word of god says where brothers dwell in unity um that you know god god will command a blessing uh, in that place and god's anointing will be there as per psalm 133 uh, we as the body of christ you know we uh, uh, jesus said that they will know that we are uh, his disciples disciples when we love one another so as we love god and we are committed to god devoted to god being united having a heart for one another is another very key thing that we must be enthusiastic about in romans chapter 12 and verse 5 scripture tells uh, so we being many are one body in christ and individually members of one another so though we are individuals we are different we have uh, um, you know a, a different story altogether as far as our uh, walk with the lord is concerned our journey with the lord is concerned uh, we can still uh, make an effort to to remain peaceful with other believers and uh, know that though we are different we're all part of the same body of Christ so uh, anyone who is born again the bible teaches us that we are now part of the global body of Christ the kingdom of god uh, and uh, that you know we all belong to the same lord in ephesians chapter 4 verse in, verses 4 5 and 6 we read about that that now we are part of the same lord and uh, which is why you know though uh, we may have our personal differences we have to make every effort to build that unity of the spirit now this doesn't mean that we compromise on the truth of god's word but scriptures also teach us that we can speak the truth in love we can uphold the standards of god's truth um, uh, while pursuing peace and unity with other believers now some times the peace among us or the unity among us could be disrupted uh, because of um, several things and uh, some things that scriptures warn us about um, are personal uh, motivations pride that uh, you know we may carry or selfish ambition uh, however when we yield ourselves to the lord and we are yielded to god and uh, we are yielded and committed to the body of christ god will give us the grace to do things in such a way that we are are promoting oneness of uh, spirit with other brothers and sisters in philippians chapter 2 and verse 3 we are taught that uh, we must walk in humility highly regarding our brothers and sisters and in this manner our friends we will be able to live out that life uh, of uh, power that life of peace that life of unity that uh, god is truly seeking for and let us be a wonderful testimony for the glory of uh, jesus name let's pray together Heavenly Father we thank you for all that you're doing uh, Lord in our midst in our lives uh, and in our hearts oh God and Father even as we um, learn about uh, unity pray that uh, Lord um, you will knit our hearts together Father God that uh, we will be able to seek you together and see a mighty move of God Lord uh, in in our in our nations Father we give you thanks and praise in Jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.